Yes guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and to today's video. As you can see, we have finally moved. We're in the city, we've got new surroundings, a new setup, and honestly, like I'm just so excited to fully start leveling up this content. So today we're taking it back to an old school sneaker unboxing and styling because I've just picked up the Adidas Gazelles and I'm a big fan. Before we do jump in though, now that I'm, you know, obviously in my new space, you can 100% expect a brand new video every single Sunday. So obviously, let's start strong by smashing that thumbs up button, hit subscribe if you haven't already for weekly videos, and lastly, hop on over to my Instagram and give me a follow over there. I'm super active, every single day we're posting outfit pictures, outfit reels, and it also gives you guys the opportunity to get a behind the scenes look into my life, but also a behind the scenes look into me running my clothing brand Studio Du Jour as well, which by the way, is linked down below. So yeah, definitely give me a follow over there. All right, so time to get stuck in. Now, obviously that whole kind of slimmer sneaker silhouette trend is absolutely everywhere at the moment. It's definitely completely taken off. And to be honest, it's for good reason. However, it can definitely, I guess, be a little bit overwhelming when it comes to kind of choosing which pair you want. Obviously, you know, you've got the super popular Adidas Sambas. I've got a pair of them. You've also got the Onitsuka Tiger Mexico 66s. But today, we're gonna be unboxing and styling the Adidas Gazelles. And we're gonna be discussing why these might just be the Samba Killers. So as you can see, they come in your kind of standard blue Adidas sneaker box. And then inside we have the beauties. I opted for the indoor Adidas Gazelles. And as you can see, I went with that beautiful green colorway, which I honestly, I absolutely love this color. In terms of actual pricing, to be honest, they're super reasonable at 90 pound, especially if you kind of compare that price to some of the other prices of sneakers. So as you can see, this particular pair that I've got does have that kind of pop of pink on the upper heel. And I'm not gonna lie guys, I actually really like it. It's like, it's just a pop of color that you can kind of really play into when it comes to the styling aspect. Another thing that I really like is all the different I guess kind of textures that are going on throughout the sneaker. Obviously, as you can see, the kind of majority of the sneaker is made up of this beautiful suede, and it's in that kind of British, British racing green colorway, which is obviously super popular at the moment. And it's a color that I absolutely love. These would actually go incredibly well paired with my Studio Du Jour shorts. You know, the green ones that I dropped with my brand like two or three weeks ago, these paired with them, because the colors are so similar, would look insane. I might actually I might actually style it that way a little bit later in the video. But the real question is Adidas Gazelles or Adidas Sambas, which, which is the best sneaker? Okay, let's, let's start by saying both are beautiful, beautiful sneakers. I personally, I'm definitely gonna have both options in my rotation. I'm not gonna lie though, guys. I think now that I have both, I'm starting to lean more towards the Gazelles as opposed to the Sambas. I think with them, you know, kind of having a lot more textures and a lot more fabrics going on throughout the entire shoe, it just adds a, something a little bit more to it. It makes them, it definitely makes them a lot more eye-catching. There again though, you know, if you do want this kind of slimmer silhouette sneaker, but you want something that is on the more kind of subtle side, then obviously the Samba is definitely gonna be your best bet.
Okay guys, so I'm not gonna kind of, oh, we've got a little, uh, we've got a little visitor who you guys have not met yet. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is Jack. Hello Jack. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of end today's video with, I guess just a little, a little bit of an apartment tour. We're not going to go into too much detail because this is, well, firstly, I've only just moved in. Me and my girlfriend, we've literally just moved in and it's also partly furnished. So we haven't obviously kind of had a chance to put our own stamp on it yet and, you know, decorate it and put all our own kind of individual pieces in that we're going to be doing. Um, I am going to document that whole process so you guys can kind of stay up to date. But yeah, I thought we'd kind of start with, or end today's video, but start the whole apartment stuff with a little bit of a basic apartment tour. All right, so you walk in the main entrance here, and this is our kind of like hallway, and you are always, <laughs> always greeted by a tired Jack. He looks really sad, but I promise he's not. He's just had a treat. <laughs> but you're always greeted by Jack, um, and yeah, like I said, the apartment is pretty much like half furnished. So we've obviously just moved in and we've not really had chance to kind of, kind of implement, you know, our personal style on it yet. So do keep that in mind. Um, I will obviously, you know, kind of document the whole process and update you guys as and when we are kind of, I guess, decorating it. But this is the main entrance. Through this uh, door here is the bedroom. I'll obviously show you that shortly. We walk down the hall, directly ahead, you have the bathroom area, which again, I'll show you shortly. And then here, this room on the right, this is, this is the main kind of living area. So if you walk straight in, the first thing that you see is the kitchen. Then, you have the kind of living area. And honestly guys, what I absolutely love about this is we actually have the corner apartment. So obviously we've got three huge windows. So it's super light, perfect for filming. And um, if we were to just have, you know, one of the normal apartments, we just have this area here. But because we've got the corner, we have the extra window and it just lets in so, much light. Like I said, we have literally just moved in, so we've not had any time to kind of implement any of our personal touches onto this. Um, but again, because we've got that corner space, we've got some really solid views, especially of an evening. We've got a view of the city, um, and then we also have like a little balcony area, which you can go out of. A little bit windy. So yeah guys, this is the main living area and like I said before, it is basically partly furnished and we've only just moved in so we haven't had a chance to kind of put our personal finishing touches to it but I can't wait to take you lot on that journey. But considering we've only just moved in, we do absolutely love it. It's perfect for us. We're bang in the centre of Manchester but what I love most about the kitchen area is what's in this cupboard right here. You all know that I've been really into my kind of fitness recently. Well, that's down to my girlfriend because she is really into her fitness and she actually creates content on Instagram as well, but it's um, obviously within the fitness niche. She's actually a protein works uh, athlete. And obviously she gets hooked up big time. I'll actually put her discount code for protein works in the description down below as well as a link as well. So if you do, you know, want anything from Protein Works or you want to give it a go, definitely use her discount code. It'll obviously help her out, but it'll also give you like 10 or 15% off as well. So that is definitely one of my favorite things about the kitchen. Then as you walk out of the living space, we got this massive mirror here. Let me take a right to the bathroom. Um, I'm just gonna quickly go through this. You don't really want to see the bathroom, but this is what we're kind of dealing with. Nice big mirror. 
Um, again, only just moved in. So obviously you haven't put any of our kind of finishing touches onto it, but nice gray tiles, huge mirror, loads of grooming content come in. Um, but yeah, there's not really too much to kind of showcase here. And this is the hallway from the bathroom, obviously living kitchen space in there. That's how you get out. And that room by there is the bedroom, but I'm going to be honest, guys, I think we might leave the bedroom for another video because with us just moving in, it is, yeah, it's, it's kind of where we're basically storing everything. It's not the cleanest, well, it's clean, but it's just a little bit messy. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll maybe, <laughs> we'll save that one for another video. So yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. A little bit of an apartment tour, sneaker unboxing. And next week, I'm thinking potentially a outfit challenge, like a 100 or 200 pound outfit challenge, and we head into the city. Is that something that you lot would wanna see? Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it today. If you did, as always, give it a big thumbs up, hit subscribe if you're new, drop a comment down below, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you lot next Sunday. Peace.